This full extensive challenges question two. It says that rectangle ABCD is inscribed in a semicircle with diameter FE. So inscribed means that it is touching all the edges or all the boundaries of the semicircle, and the diameter FE means that, well, the radius is equal to half of FE. Yeah. And from the center to anywhere on the circumference, we know that the radius is going to be the same. So if DA is ten and FD is equal to AE equals to eight, first of all we can calculate the radius, which is equal to eight adding ten adding eight divided by two, and that is going to be thirteen. So once we know that the radius is thirteen, we can see that if I'm going from the center, joining the center, and、uh, either B or C, the length is also going to be thirteen, because that's the radius of the circle. And the distance from D to the center is going to be ten divided by two, which is five. So we can find the length of CD by the Pythagorean theorem because we know that this is a rectangle. So CD squared adding five squared equals thirteen squared, and then we know that CD squared is equal to one hundred sixty nine. Take away twenty five, which is one hundred forty four. In other words, it means CD is equal to twelve. Now we know that CD is twelve and AD is ten. We can calculate the area of ABCD by the length times the width, which is twelve times ten, and that's going to be a hundred and twenty square units. All right, so that's going to be extensive challenges question two.